Well, before you watch this video, this is the second part. Be sure that you watch the first part. The link is right here. I mean, if you already watched it, just keep on watching. But if you haven't watched the first half, be sure to watch it right here. Thanks, and enjoy the video. Trying to explain it while you're doing it. Okay. We're gonna have to make this plane a little bit bigger. There we go. So we have a keyframe there, but we may want to set one in between. Actually, that actually might be pretty good right there. And about that same time, maybe a little bit past that. Actually, right before that, I'm gonna set a keyframe for the light source. And then I'm gonna go 10 frames past the frame that we set for the camera here and then rotate our light source around to the words. This will give uh, the camera go and then the light will follow uh, a few seconds, not even a few seconds, a third of a second later it will swing into the shot. Uh, let's see. We'll hit F12 here to see how our lighting is. I know I could set this to preview when I'm rendering this. Is just I always just do it this way because I like to see it as I'm going. Although the the lighting, um, the ambient lighting that we have set does slow down the rendering a whole lot. I could probably actually turn that off. In fact, I probably do that. I'll turn that off until we're done, then I'll recheck it. But we're looking good right there, so I don't even need to finish that out. But let me real quick go here and just disable that for now, and I'll re-enable it when I go to render it. Okay, so we got that. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to, in the top view, rotate the camera a little bit, move the camera a little bit. And at the same time, we're going to be moving the lighting. I'm saying. I'm offsetting the keyframes from the lighting and the camera so that they are both seem a little more sporadic. I'm going to rotate the light up a little bit and maybe rotate it over a little bit. Rotate it back. Just setting some keyframes here. Go back to about, let's see, that's our keyframe for that is. Doing about 20 frames in between each uh, keyframe here. Let's see, where's our camera at? Grab it. Let's kind of quick zoom in here. And at this point, I'm going to Shift D to clone that text, bring it over here, rotate it around. And I'm going to go up 20 more frames, grab our camera, move it over here, rotate it around. And we're going to change this to say www.films by, make sure you spell stuff right by chris.com okay make sure we set the keyframe for the camera here that's a pretty quick movement there hope it's not too quick okay one two three or just one two twenty more frames we will grab the camera up like this. And we're also going to go back, find our last keyframe here. Two, three, let's 
Let's see. Rotate this around so the light goes past it. Rotate it back. And right here, we'll probably just put the light on it. Go back to here. Okay, let's have a, what am I doing here? Quick little look at our animation. And something I am gonna do, I am going to um, choose the light here. I'm gonna go down to frame, uh, 122. I'm going to set a keyframe for its power or its energy. So I'm going to come down here. This is under the uh, shading settings and then on the light, the lamp button here. Hover your mouse down here and hit I. And we're going to set a keyframe for the energy, which is at 1 right now. And then we'll go up to our last frame here. We'll move the lighting down and hit energy again. That will make the lamp basically shut off over that second period and basically make everything fade to black. You could always do that later on in your video editor or in Blender Sequencer, but it's just sometimes easier to do it right here and right now. So if I just hit F12 right now, it's going to render black. Um, if I go back to here, I'm going to hit F12. Everything's going to look kind of dark because I have ambient lighting off. So the light basically isn't refracting off other things. Uh, my lineup seems good, but I am going to quickly turn on. Oh, you know something I haven't done that's very important? Saved it. So I'm in my, I'm going to go to videos, tutorials, intro, blender, speed. Model, save, okay, we're going to hit F12. Now, in my Blender 2.4 tutorials, uh, I left the, the font, uh, the default gray color, which is like I have here. In the Blender 2.5 tutorials, I did them red. I think these ones I might do blue. So let's quickly, that looks like it's going good. I don't need to render it all the way out. I'm going to choose here, I'm going to add a new texture, and I'm going to just make it a blue color. I'm going to choose the other fonts and just choose that same material, so they all have the same material, so they're all the same color. And I'm going to quickly start to render that out, and that's basically the end of the tutorial. I'm going to render this whole video out and play it at the end here, and then you also see at the beginning of tutorials I do in the future. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Visit filmsbychris.com for more tutorials like this.